Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Silver Sister and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanna to talk a little bit about how we can get into a better headspace to celebrate our aging as opposed to fighting it so much. Um, so yesterday I actually just took a picture and I'll just put it up here so you can see it. And there was something about the way that, I was just playing around with my iPhone, something the way this photo um, was taken that made me feel like I was standing really tall and proud. And I thought, you know what, I am gonna get on my social media today and just remind women to stand tall and proud in who they are and especially who they are as they're aging. But I realized that me just posting a post and telling you to do that and telling you that you, you know, don't, don't mourn your younger self, you know, maybe some people need a little bit more. And so I thought I'm gonna pop on my YouTube, I'm gonna explain a few tips that I think that I can give you that might help you if this is not something that you feel that you can innately do. Like you need a little bit more help in getting to that place where you celebrate who you are. Um, and so the first thing is, it is totally okay if that's you. I think that there are people who have different coping, different resilience, different skills, different experiences. So we're all gonna get to this place um, in a different headspace. So if you're someone who needs kind of a reminder to be kinder to yourself, then I think it's okay for you to realize that, that you can give yourself that reminder every day. I liken it to yoga. So people who do yoga, they refer to it as their personal practice. So their practice is not the same as my practice. The thing that they do, the, the poses they do, the way they do the poses, the way they modify the poses, whatever they have to do, it's not um, a competition because it's also very personal. And I think the same with this, it is a very personal journey aging. So um, reminding yourself to be gentle and reminding yourself to focus on that daily it doesn't mean that you're failing at embracing your age. It just means that you need reminding every day. I think we all need some element of reminding. I don't think we wake up in love if we have the wrinkles. Um, at first, we just focus on other things. And I think that focusing on the other thing is actually really key. So if I say hated my nose and I looked at my nose every day, and um, but I never looked at the fact that I loved my hair, or I loved my eyes, or I loved my lips, I just focused on my nose, it would be what defined me. So I think the one thing that we have to do is shift our focus to the things we do like about ourselves as we're aging and continuously remind yourself of those things that you do enjoy about yourself. And it's not conceited to enjoy something about yourself or remind yourself that you're good at something or um, what, whatever those things are. So free yourself of that if you need to remind yourself on a daily and that there are certain things that you need to focus on and celebrate it yourself in order for you not to focus on the things that you don't like. The other thing that I was thinking about is, you know, someone said something in one of my comments is that they um, they mourned the loss of their youth. I'm a thanatology student, so mourning the loss of anything really resonated with me. And I started thinking about my younger self. And I thought, you know, it is okay to miss your younger self. Um, but in what I, what I try to reframe it, instead of missing my younger self, I want to honor my younger self and attribute where I am now to her. So she got me to this place. So that young woman was got me to be a mother and that mother got me to be a grandmother and so on and so on and so on. And so just seeing everything as a step. And instead of wanting to be that, realizing that you know we are constantly in transition. I feel if we hold on to one stage too, too strongly, we're gonna miss the full impact of the next stage. So maybe there is something you are holding on into our, it, from your previous stages. Um, and maybe those are things you might have to deal with before you can get to this stage of completely celebrating who you are here. If I constantly wanted to look like I was 20, then I'm never going to be happy with what I look like at 50. So, you know, there, there does take this process of letting go in the accepting process of who you are and how you're aging. And the other thing is just to celebrate a lot of the things that are happening to you now. So I can't make that list for you, obviously, but, um, you know, for instance, I'm a grandma. I can never be a grandma when I was 20, so why not celebrate that now? Um, I have better friendships than I did or deeper friendships than I did in my 20s, so I can celebrate those things. Um, there's so many things that you can just reset yourself and just see... I also want to see myself as like always becoming. I'm becoming the person I should be, the person I was intended to be. In order for me to become, I have to keep transitioning to that next stage. And every time I transition, I have to let go of a little bit of the old stage, the last stage. So anyways, 
I just think it's really important that if this is something that doesn't come naturally to you, do not beat yourself up about it. It is okay if you're the type of person who needs to remind yourself to reset your thinking every single day. If you're that person who needs to focus on the positive and you just don't wake up going, oh my God, I'm gorgeous, look at me. <laughs> I don't think there's many people like that. Um, and then you're gonna have your bad days. You're gonna have your days where you're not embracing something. I mean, who is going to embrace sore muscles and an achy back if that's your reality as you age? Um, but there are other things to focus and to celebrate, and it could be your experience that you're that got you to this place, and all the wonderful you know um, people in your life and relationships, or maybe you had a really great career um, that you really loved, or you know again, it's also personal. So I can give a hundred examples, but ultimately it has to be something that's really personal to you. Um, so those are the things I think that I would start with. I probably will have more thoughts on this topic. I would love to hear what you think about it. Um, aging is, it can be wonderful. It can be part of the journey. I ha think it has a lot to do with our mindset and what we choose to focus on. Um, so I hope this helps. I hope you can celebrate yourself today and um, know that, uh, you know, aging is part of this amazing journey of living. And I mean, there is that quote that I've heard so many times that um, aging is a privilege denied to many. And so that also, again, comes from your own personal experience. So if you've known someone who's passed away young, um, you know, well, I, I always think about that. Like I get the privilege of seeing my 50th birthday um, and I have had friends who haven't. So who am I to um, not celebrate each day as I get it? Um, so those are always little reminders as well. So anyways, I hope that is good. I, you know, I kind of get on here and I just babble and sometimes I wonder if I've made any sense. Um, but my goal today is just for you to know, you know, stand tall, stand proud and, you know, the woman that you are and the age that you are. Um, realize that your experience has got you to this place, celebrate yourself, honor yourself, honor the past you that got you to this place. And no, this isn't the end, right? We still, we're still going on our journey. Um, the other thing I think we should remind ourselves of is when we're 20, we very rarely celebrated everything about ourselves in our 20s. When we're 30s, we very rarely celebrated everything about ourselves in our 30s. So it usually takes us 50 looking back to have that full clarity. So I guess what I'm striving to do is have that full clarity now in this moment. So if I can celebrate myself at 50, the chances are my 60 year old self is gonna look back at my 50 year old self if I didn't celebrate myself and go, well, what, what were you worried about? You look great. Or you, you know, you, why were you so focused on all that? So we spend our time focused on all the negative, I think it really is time wasted and it's not until we get past it we have that perspective we realize that we've done it so we've done that so why not try to gain that perspective in your present by switching your focus and a constant reminder um, of what we should be focusing on <laughs> does that make any sense um okay guys um that's it for me today i probably am going to have a lot more thoughts on this topic and aging and celebrating our aging i would love to hear what you have to say about this and what you do to stay in a good headspace um, yeah, so let's connect and talk more about this topic. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.